All right, day three pup date. I'm um, happy to say we still have 10. Everybody's going strong. She's an absolute incredible mom. Um, traditional protective Caucasian, not towards me or my son, but towards the other dogs when they want to even get a look at them. Mommy doesn't appreciate that. So we got two sleeping underneath mommy's chest. And we have another seven <laughs> right here. Anyway, everybody's putting on weight. And we got one by mommy's butt, which I'm gonna move. I always like them being, here we go. I always like them being in her basically chest area, chest abdomen area. That way she can see where they're at, keep an eye on them, clean them. And do going to the potty and stuff like that. But today is day three. And happy, like I said, everybody's here still. Now, um, nobody's showing any signs I need to worry about or anything like that. Of course, like I said, they're so fragile. And this carpet's working great. I've done carpets in the past. But what I'm basically going to do is each carp, I just cut a scrap, bring it in here. It allows them better traction. Because as they're saying, the whole idea of dysplasia, it can be genetic, it can be environmental, it can be hormonal. I mean, you are early spay and neuters. You know, you're taking away hormones from the dogs, which are going to affect development. But, like I said, I'm doing everything I can. So actually underneath the carpet is what they call a stall mat, which is a very thick, dense rubber mat, which has been trimmed to fit the nursery. And then underneath that's wood. So we'll be doing the carpet over the stall mat until they're older. And then I'll, of course, be adding my bedding, my shavings, when we get to have Right, Mommy? She's an awesome mom. She's an awesome dog. Here's your world face. You want me to help you get to where you can nurse? There you go. Let me get you two. Right, let's go. But like I said, I couldn't be happier with the litter. I'd wish it had been a little bit smaller, just because it's easier for mommies when they're smaller. Um, especially first time. So I would have been happier, honestly, with eight. But if she can keep ten healthy, great. And if not, I'll be helping her where I can. Have a great one.